Hello guys and welcome back to another Beard Guys World of Tanks replay. So have I got a bit of a treat for you today. As you're probably aware, it's been a long time since I've done a, um, a commentary, just a bog standard commentary. We've done a lot of battle beards recently. Um, so today I've got a commentary for you in a Object 430 version 2, which the astute among you might have noticed that that's not a tank I have because this is a replay from Mr. Mad Friday. T.H.O. Mad Friday, uh, a fellow YouTuber, cool guy, I've just started checking out his videos recently, fellow Brit, does some excellent uh, World of Tanks commentaries and reviews and tips videos and that kind of thing. Um, so go and check him out. He's growing very quickly, very popular guy, um, so I highly recommend that. But this is um, his favourite tank, so I, so I hear, and he very, very kindly sent me this replay for me to comment on. And, um, and I duly obliged. So here we are, we're on, um, we're on Red Char. He's gone aggressively into the middle. It's an encounter battle. And and there's his first kill already. It's a tier 9 battle. He's top tier. Uh, there's about 4 or 5 tier 9s on the team. They're mostly 8s and a couple of 7s. So the Object 430 version 2. It's not a tank that I own. Um, but it is one that I would, would like to get some time. It's renowned for having extremely good... Uh, turret armor, frontal turret armor, um, and having this kind of weird, uh, it's quite a weird looking tank, it's got a rear mounted turret, it doesn't have a full turret traverse, which makes it a bit limited, but it's a very good armor for a medium tank, and it's also very maneuverable, and if, although the gun depression is not great, it's very effective if you can get it into a hold down position, which, uh, which MAD does very effectively throughout this battle by, by playing off these hills. That shot, would, I, I don't even know, that was a great, an excellent guess as to where the uh, the 50T was looking. I watched that back a few times before I started to see if he saw a tracer. Um, he didn't, I think he just kind of worked out where he reckoned that 50T was sitting. Unfortunately it didn't damage him, but he did crit him, so so fair play, Mad. But he's, um, he's playing how I like to see people play in, in top tier tanks. You've got to play aggressively, especially a maneuverable medium like this with a bit of armor and uh, fantastic DPM, he's playing aggressively, he's got himself in the middle of the map, and um, and he's taken the fight to the enemy. And what he's also trying to do is trying to just take advantage of that DPM, so he's moving up, I mean as soon as he gets spotted he's either backing off and trying to get unspotted, the Conqueror he's trying to prioritise, but that guy is, he's a fellow tier 9. And he's on very low health, he's on a one shot for anyone. You might notice as well, that's the first bit of damage that Mad has taken all game. From that shot just there, gets a nice shot into the side of the Tiger P. And it's a really good spot to be in here, provided uh, the enemy aren't getting shots on your rear from across the other side of the map, which is going to be tough because it's a pretty long way away. Um, or if they're flanking around, but he's got that heavy sort of supporting on his right. He's in um, a pretty strong position here. He can shoot down on guys like this Tiger P as they try and fight the cap. And he can shoot back across these guys over the back here. And although there's quite a row of tanks lining up to uh, potentially shoot him here, they're not the hardest tanks in the game. So he doesn't really need to worry too much. He's taken the, the tier 9 out there. And the TD over there is only a tier 7. Gets a bit unlucky with the shot onto the T-34-2 there. If he had hit that wheel, it would have uh, would have pretty much definitely tracked him and uh, really screwed his day up. And then unlucky again with the follow-up shot as he pulls away. And we've all done that before. But like I said, he's playing this tank really nicely, just moving in and out. Once he gets spotted, backs off while he's reloading, come, pulls in just in time and aims. So that you barely waste any time between shots, which is what you want to do when you're um, when you're top tier in a decent tank. Maximise your DPM and just take take advantage of that frontal hull arm, that frontal turret armor as well. And one of the things you see DPM talked about a lot, especially on the forums, and people sort of just throw the numbers around and use that. Often it's kind of used as a basis as to this tank's amazing because it's got high DPM. But that DPM number is completely meaningless unless you're actually taking advantage of it. And if you're spending, uh, unless you're like, you're never really going to get that full theoretical DPM. And unless you're just constantly firing every time you reload, you're not going to get it. So the best you can do is 
keep moving in and out and uh, and make as many shots as you can without just being completely suicidal. So he's just seen what else is going on here. He's got a tortoise behind him, but it's a long way away, and that's got two heavies near him. So tortoise probably isn't going to be too much of an issue. And he's pushing over a little bit closer. That 50T is going to be a nice juicy target for him. It's got very weak armor and a big pool of health for him to um, start tapping away at. There he goes. Very nice amount of damage for the uh, reload on this tank as well, which gives it that massive DPM for which it's known. So the 50T's um, looking at him now, he's got his attention, but he's already down to half health. He's very soon going to be even lower. Oh, he's been wiped out by the, by the laser-guided American artillery. So he's up to 10 damaging shots, 2 kills. Just been firing regular ammo this whole time as well. And now just lying in wait. <laughs> Gets... A little bit lucky with uh, the T25-2 just driving straight across the path, gets a nice tracking shot and then finishes off very clinically. Leaving a fairly dangerous full health E75, although he did just take a big hit from the artillery. And not so dangerous anymore and not even actually looking at MAD, he's looking completely across the way. I'm not sure what the other tanks are on MAD's team, considering how much <laughs> of the damage in this game and the kills in this game Mad gets. I'm surprised people don't spend as much time looking at him as they probably should have done. But this is one of my favourite moments of this battle. The T20 comes in to rush him along with the uh, this guy here. What's that? The Leopard PTA. They both rush in. They think, we need to get this guy. He's been dangerous all match. And, um, well, you'll see how it goes. He's focusing on the Tier 9, on the Leopard. Got to be done. That guy's the most dangerous guy there. He might be able to pen his front. The tier 7, not so much. Just measures to nick him there. Before he went out of the range of his ton limited ton turret traverse. And then nicely hugs the front of the T20. So that T20 can only put a shot into his turret, which has absolutely no chance of penetrating. And bounces off and kills him. For kill number 5. And very quickly up to 21 damage his shots. And that was a great chance there of really unleashing that DPM, pretty much didn't stop firing for about 30 or 40 seconds there it felt like. There we go, there's the top gun kill number 6, nicely pops up. And we've just got one tank left. So he's mopping up now, he's on 27 health, a little bit lucky to still be alive but he's really played well to um, play to the strengths of that tank. Maybe just to just get around that corner before the Type 64 can shoot one in his butt and finish him off. And now he's just trying to keep the tank facing the right way as this uh, Type 64 vainly tries to circle him. And then, um, and then gets stuck in his tracks before easily getting finished off. So a very, very good performance there from Mr. Mad Friday. Thank you very much for sending that in. Let's have a little look at the, uh, the post-battle results. So we got 40,000 silver with premium, nearly 8,000 XP just on a times two. Excellent amount of XP for a standard uh, daily double. Mastery 99%, Devastator for those seven kills, and a, uh, what's that, steel wall, 6,000 damage, 3,000 assisted, and 1,700 blocked. Very, very respectable. And a Spartan medal as well for that bounce near the end. And there you go. And the other great thing is, look at that, 2,240 base XP in a, uh, a tier 9 tank. Very impressive. It can be very hard to get high amounts of base XP in tier 9 and 10 tanks. So very respectable, especially in a uh, tier 9 game when you're, he was only shooting tier 9s or below. So he had to dish out a lot of punishment to get, to get that much base XP. So nice one. Thank you for sending that in to me, Mad. Um, do check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. He's an excellent guy. I do recommend you go and check it out. There's a lot of great World of Tanks uh, Xbox co or console content on there. So if you play on Xbox or PlayStation or whatever, go and check it out. And I'm sure you will enjoy it. Nice one. So thank you very much for listening, guys. My name is Ben. We're the Beard Guys. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.